Now we're going to add lives to your game. Uh, most games do have a character that has a certain number of lives, and if he loses those lives, you would either have to start over or, or end the game. So I'm going to add a new object, and this is going to be another controller object, because it doesn't need to have a sprite associated, and it's going to just show up at the very beginning of the game to set the lives. So I'm going to add an event. When this controller is created, under score, I'm going to set the lives, and we'll start with three lives. Okay, so I have three lives. Now, we have to think about when we would lose any of these lives. So, a number of things could happen. When a bullet collides with Bilbo, one of the other things we may do is lose a life. So there I'm going to decide when he gets hit with a bullet, we're going to set the lives, now we're going to set them to negative 1, but that needs to be relative because it's relative to how many we had. So if we had 3 and we lose 1, we have 2, and then 1, and then 0. Um, we can't set it to something like just 2 because then every time we lose a life, it'll go to 2. So negative 1, relative. Now, I'm going to leave it to you to add the conditions uh, wherever where, where Bilbo also has to lose lives, because in other words, when Bilbo, uh, lo when Bilbo collides with the uh, enemies, which are, is already set to certain things, right? Now, we should also have him lose a life, but I'm going to leave all of that because that'll give you practice with this process. So, when a bullet collides with Bilbo, he loses, we lose one life. Now, lives are a built-in variable. So the so game maker was just nice enough to program something for lives that that um, functions you know that way, but it's really just another variable that they just made easier for us. So when we lose a life, we need to do something. We need to now test whether our lives are now zero, because if our lives are zero then we need something to happen. And there are actually other ways you could do this, and I'll let you even think about that, but I'm going to show you this way. So now, if lives are zero, we want to do a couple of things. Um, one thing we could do simply is just decide to end the game, which would be this here, okay? But um, Game Maker is a little bit funny because when you just end the game, it just looks like it's crashing out of the game, like that the game just ends um, without any kind of message. So what you could do is you could decide first that you want to display a message. So your message here might be, sorry, you lose, try again, okay? And then basically, then at least that message comes up and then it ends, which makes a little more sense. There are other things you could do. You could tell it to have a message like, do you want to try again? and then have an if-then statement that if they say yes, they try again. If they say no, it ends the game. You could also have a, a room uh, at the beginning that's basically like a, a splash screen or a menu that gives them options to get directions for the game, to play the game, or to quit. And in that case, whenever you lose, you could bring them back to that page so they're still in the game, and then they have to decide whether to quit or not. But basically, as far as just the programming goes, we lose a life, we test if our lives are zero, and we then, if, we, if it is, we display the message and we end the game. And again, this will have to happen everywhere that you lose a life, unless you think creatively and figure out a way that you could always check if lives are zero, um, thinking of something we did in the last lesson, but I'll leave that to you. So there we have it, and let's see if it works. There's other things we'll need to do in a moment. But here I go. Now remember, if I get hit by the guy, I don't lose a life yet because I didn't program that. But if I get hit by a bullet, I do. So now in theory, I have two lives, one life, and let's see what happens when he shoots me again. Now, right now, we don't really know that because it doesn't show it anywhere. But when I get hit again, it, oops. Okay, so we have something wrong. Let's figure out what we did wrong. I know what we did wrong. I did not put the controller object in the game. 
So I'm going to now put this controller object. I already have one in the game, but I'm going to put this one in. And now I should start with the three lives and see what happens from there. Okay. Always having to troubleshoot. Let's see. And there we go. So it says, sorry you lose, try again. And I hit OK, and the game ended. But like I said, you can decide on ways you want to handle that at the end. Now, it would be worthwhile to display the lives. So I will show you how to do that as well. Okay, so we're going to go to the controller object. And when it's created, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to set the lives. We're also going to set a, um, a draw event. And we are going to um, draw the lives uh, as an image. So w right now it says that we put it at 0, 0. And the image that I would like to use is my guy. Only problem is in my room right now, 0, 0 would be up here where we have these uh, these this these walls so I can for argument's sake what I'll do is I will eliminate three wall pieces so it will show my three lives here presumably and just to be safe I will actually add wall pieces outside of the room so we can't go through and still get out you won't see these but you'll see the guys here so many other ways I could do it I just didn't want to put it like here because then it would look like this guy's gonna get us and stuff like that so let's see if I set that up properly. Okay, so there's my three lives. Let's see what happens when I lose a life if it goes down up there to two and da, da, da. let me go past him. Oh, but that didn't count. And one, and that's the end of the game, so it would be zero. Okay, so there you have it. And again, just to show you, under the controller object, when it was created, I set the lives to three, and then I also used the draw event to draw the lives as an image up in the upper left-hand corner, and I used Bilbo as that um, sprite. Uh, so that's really all you need to know for now, but you'll still be building on that a bit on your own. So um, play around with that. Um, I'll extract a few things, so you'll have to do some of it on your own, and good luck.